Do you know if your device is giving you serious issues like for example the blue screen of death, you can actually reverse back to a previous version of Windows that was installed on your device before that problem started. So there's what we call system restore in a Windows 11 operating system which allows you to roll back your computer to a previous state using the restore point. So this feature is, is, is valuable for recovering from issues caused by software installation, update or system changes without affecting your personal files. So the restore does not affect your personal files but it only affect the changes that have been made to your, to your device. For example, system changes like Windows update, software installation and the rest. So by default, this is actually turned off. So if I just go to my start menu and I enter restore, you can see it says create a restore point. Then if I click create a restore point, you can see and by, at this moment it says um, it's actually turned off. I have other volumes which are as well turned off. But I'm more interested in the C drive. So if I click configure, now I want to turn on the system restore. And here it says what are the maximum usage I can actually use. So it says 2%. We can actually go to like, let me just say like 30% and then click apply then click OK. Right now you can see this has been turned on and then we can now click create. So by clicking create, it's going to create a restore point at this moment. Let me just call this August and then click, let me call this 01 and then click create. You can see that the restore point is being created. So let's just wait for this to get created and then continues. Here we go, you can see it says the restore point was created successfully. So let me click close and then OK. So next time when you have issues with your device and you go to restore, here we can decide to say, uh, let me just click on the create a restore point. You can see it's actually turned on. And now we can decide to say, well, I'm having issue with my system. Let me just go to system restore and then restore system files and settings. So let's click next. So here you can see this was actually manually created. I can actually scan for affected programs. It's going to, it's going to actually scan to see which programs will be affected. What changes did I make to my device before my device started giving me a problem. And it's going to restore my, my device back to that point. Here we go, which of course I expected this. It says none detected because I just created the restore point. So I can now click next and then just click finish. Well, let me just click no for now because I don't want to actually restore my device. But you can also do the same thing for other devices. You can see all these are turned off. But if you feel that you have some vital information here, you can actually try to create a restore point for it as well. But I prefer actually doing it on my C drive because that's where the operating system is installed and most of the time that's where something goes wrong. So this is how you configure and use the system restore to restore your device to a previous version that was actually working before your device started having issues.